skill is designed to evaluate your ability to properly mobilize a closed, non-angulated, suspected long bone fracture. You are required to treat only the specific isolated injury. The scene survey and primary survey have been completed, and a suspected closed, non-angulated fracture of the tip fibula is discovered during the secondary survey. Continued assessment of the patient's airway, breathing, and circulation is not necessary in this skill. You may use any of the equipment available in this room. You have five minutes to complete this skill. Do you have any questions? I do not. You may begin this skill. Okay. BSI is on, seems safe. I'm going to immediately direct my partner to hold manual stabilization of the injured leg. This is going to be the uh, left leg for a closed tip fib fracture. I'm going to go down to the affected leg. I'm going to check for a pulse. Pulse is present. Do you feel me squeezing here? Yes. Can you move your toes up and down? Yes. PMS is found to be present. Uh, this time I'm going to choose to use the padded board splints. Before I do that, I'm going to measure the padded board splints on the unaffected side. Those will work. Let's put those off to the side for now. Let's secure the cravats. I'm going to use the natural void spaces of the body, being the knee. Let's put two cravats to the upper leg. And make sure that these cravats don't lie upon the actual knee. I'm going to use two cravats to the lower leg, using the natural void process of the ankle. I'm going to use these. I'm going to make sure that the cravats don't lie directly upon the deformity found. And then I'm going to use one more cravat to form an ankle hitch. Let's secure that. I'm going to take the paddleboard splints, again making sure the soft side is directly to the patient. I'm going to ask the patient to hold the paddleboard splints there and not release until I say. Start securing the paddleboard splints using the cravats. I'm going to make sure that the knots are directly on the board itself and not on the patient. Using a secondary knot to secure the first knot. Again, making sure these upper cravats do not lie upon the patient's knee. I'm going to secure the ankle hitch. Secure. Reassess all of my knots. Let's be secure. 
Chad for any voids. I don't see any. Reach out PMS, check for a pulse. Pulse is present. Can you feel me squeezing it? Can you push up? Can you push down? Mm -hmm. PMS is present. And I've completed this station.